Hello, this is Dr. Mario San Bartolome, your family physician and addiction medicine specialist. One of the most common things that are actually misunderstood about drug addiction and the substances that are out there are well, which is the one which is the one that's most dangerous? Now, right now we're in a time in history that front paper is their opioids. And we have a lot of focus on opioids and that those are pain medications. Those are also heroin. And of course we do have a very quickly changing problem and, and, and it's an epidemic. Um, so I'm not trying to actually discount it. Um, but opioids don't actually kill the most. Um, and that might surprise you. You might think that, well, shouldn't those be the ones? Or is it cocaine? Doesn't cocaine kill a bunch of people? And, and for sure, there is a problem with people dying from overdoses from medications like opioids um, and cocaine. Um, and I should be more precise. Actually, the overdose deaths related to opioids aren't from medicines, actually. They're from chemicals that are coming, they're illicit. They're not ones that come from a doctor's pen. Uh, the, the, there's one in particular called fentanyl. Uh, that is, although it's available in a prescription form, that's not how people are actually getting exposed to it. But in the case of what's the worst ones, let's do the math. Which one kills the most? And it would probably surprise you to know that actually tobacco is the one that's responsible for more deaths, uh, not only in the United States, but globally, uh, than all those other drugs that you might have read about or have seen on TV. Uh, next is actually alcohol and alcohol. So the two, first two that I'm talking to you about here are actually the legal ones, not the illegal ones, uh, the ones that people go to jail for, right? So we can't let our guard down. If mom and dad, if you see your kids smoking, you still need, you should still be concerned about that uh, because actually that's the one that leads to heart disease and all the things that come around and that people die from. Um, and you should also be concerned about some of those other illicit drugs and they all actually have treatments and they have similar uh, ways that they affect the brain. Uh, they might have slightly different treatment types uh, in terms of some of them have medicines that, that they can actually, uh, you can use for them. And in the case of tobacco use disorder, we actually do have some medicines for that. So very high yield uh, to use those medications and you can get them from your primary care doctor. You don't even need to go to an addiction specialist or a treatment program to access them. In fact, there are even apps that are out there that you can use on the phone as well as uh, get on paper um, some, some you know, types of tools to be able to help you to quit smoking. Now, one of the things that's come around from that is people have decreased their smoking in many places, but now we're seeing people vaping, particularly young people that are vaping. And there are a whole nother set of consequences that come from vaping. And so uh, we're not out of the woods because people think that, oh, well, I'm not smoking tobacco. Uh, but vaping also carries lots of consequences to the, to the lungs. So the next time you start, uh, you look at the, what some of these chemicals are doing out there, uh, you might want to test one of your friends and ask them, what do you think kills the most? Uh, which drug? And uh, you'll probably get a, you know, an answer like, oh, it must be heroin, uh, but, but no, it's the more boring ones that, uh, that affect us all. So thank you for learning a little bit more about uh, substance use and please continue to watch our series.